Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to the amazing American Circus. Well, specifically the demo, as that's all I've got to go with now, but I really wanted to have a look. Being that, this is from Clabata? Clablata? I don't know. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, to be honest. I've never had to say that out loud. Don't you love that when you have to say words out loud that you've only ever read? But these guys did Help Will Come Tomorrow. And from what I understand, it's some sort of a historical trilogy. I don't know what the other game is, but this is in some way, I don't know if just a direct sequel, but they're grouping it together with Help Will Come Tomorrow, which is fascinating because we actually played a lot of that on the channel. Maybe we can go back to it. I've heard there's been some new scenarios. Anyway, my point is, maybe you fell in love with my channel because of that. Um, well, here's another game just like it, so they say. So, let's check it out. Let's have a look. I don't really know much about it. It's a card deck builder type game, um, which is cool. I guess, like, your, your circus of misfits are probably trying to battle the crowd or something like that. Let's find out. Let's give it a bloody red hot go. Oh, if it doesn't crash as soon as I press the start button, that's uh, that would be bad. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, it's, it's thinking. Let's just let it think, team. She'll be right. I have had it sitting. Oh, oh, oh! Once upon a time in America. Yes. Look at the pins on that dude. Oh, oh hello, love. <laughs> this art's so good. Yes. This is great. It's giving me all sorts of ideas for my variety show. I should get an elephant. Amazing American Circus. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, fair enough. I like that's a clever intro to put on a on a demo. Actually, that's good. Um, because I usually put that sort of stuff at the end. Actually, uh, let's start with the basics. It's all about making the right impression. Click on a fireball juggling card and then click on a highlighted spectator to throw fireballs at them in order to impress him. Remember, you can also right-click on icons to see the descriptions. All right, fiery fart. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize this was a life simulator. Fireball juggling. Impress four. Buff self. Okay. This guy, this miner. Let's do it. Yes, look at that. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> this is so good. I love how daggy this is. That was an impression card. Now the spectator's intent is to attack one of your artists in the next turn. Oh, okay, that took a turn. Get ready to use the block card on a targeted artist. Right, so he's gonna attack, increase stress of a target. Okay, okay, this is clever. All right, um, block, finger lift, and we'll put that on the clown. Oh, right, it was from him. He sort of like protects him. Okay, block equipped, end your turn. Each time you do, cards in your hand land in the discard pile and five newer cards are drawn. Okay, cool. Uh, next turn. Right, so you lose your whole hand. Interesting that they don't have a health bar because it's stress. They have a stress build bar. Very cool. Um, play cherry picker to impress the spectator once again. Okay. Cherry picker, right? See, so they're like in suits. So blue must be the strong man. Oh, look, you can mouse, you can mouse over them. It tells you whose cards are who. Right. Impress buff self. We're getting these buffs. Oh, spear juggling balls. That's cool. Okay. Um, note that each card is charged with star attraction charges. Playing them fills up the star attraction bar at the top left corner of the screen. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Click on the star attraction button to impress the audience some more. Unicycle on a tight rope. Let's bloody go. Oi! So that's like a bloody super move or something. Okay. I'm hooked. This is so good. <laughs> okay. Your audience is happy and content. 
But it's not the end. Some shows consist of more than just one act. So it just so happens that, oh, that's the case now. All right, okay, cool. This is so interesting that this structure lends itself to this genre. I never would have guessed this. But then now when you show it to us, it's like, how is this the first time we've seen this? Uh, act two begins, uh, some new uh, spectators arrive. You are now on your own. Pay attention to the deck shuffle. It adds five stress to all of your artists. Have fun. Right. If the deck shuffles, we got five stress. Right. Okay. Okay. So we got some miners. They're going to attack the, my juggler. Let's see. Smash a rock. That's pretty bloody cool. Remove block. Impress one for every two block points removed. Okay. Um, block. One for each block card used during this performance. Uh, oh, okay. Remove all. Impress four for each removed. Oh. Um, one, two... That'd be eight. That wouldn't be quite enough, would it? Buff self. Hang on, we might be able to eliminate one of these dudes. And that's the charisma score, I guess. Okay. All right. And then we'll try this. Oh, look at it. Sit down, son. Very good. Buff self. What's that buff? Um, block... One for each card using... Oh, okay. I'm out of charisma. Hang on. Buff self, draw one. Okay, okay. There we go. Um, okay, I can't afford any of them. Let's go next turn. Oh, no. Stressing her out. All right. Wild clown chase. Hercules hold, block all for six. That's cool. Oh, what's this? Decreases artist's impression effect. Right. Shuffle your hand into the deck. Oh, shuffle five cards. Oh, okay. That's probably a good idea, actually. Let's do that now. Because they said the recycling of your deck is actually pretty bad. Buff plus three. Buff three. Let's buff you. Star Attraction Charger. Next three cards, five more Star Attraction. Oh, that's what this is down here, is increasing the Star Attraction. I see. Okay. Um. Zero out of ten. Okay. Removal balls. Buff self, buff self. Taunt all, block self. Let's do that, because I don't think we're going to be able to finish him in one go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Impress. I can do the unicycle. Impress 15, a random spectator. Let's do that. Let's do that. Jeez, what do we think about this team? How good. Seattle, okay. Location you're currently in represents your fame in the demo version. Gathering 15 fame points ends the game. Okay. Okay, I can understand that. Um, entrance to the big top. Click here to prepare for the show, right? One of the active stands. Click on it to enter the stands view. Click here to view the map. Icons representing all the stands on the circus grounds. Click on them. Allows quick access. Okay, cool. So this is sort of... Um... Uh, what would you call it? Like, uh, like Darkest Dungeon, I suppose, right? Recruitment cart. Oh, hang on. Map. Drag the pin onto a destination. Places you can travel. Walla Walla. Yeah, right. City view. Artists. List of cards that they have in their possession. Right. Set of cards picked for the show. Right. Right, okay, cool. That's cool. 
All of the artist's cards, artist experience, you can upgrade the artist only after reaching the next experience level. Right, and you can train them for uh, for dollars. Okay, that's cool. Recruitment card. List of artists looking to uh, looking for employment. Price you have to pay in order to hire the artist. Clicking this button results in hiring. List of cards in their position. Right, okay, so we've only got the three classes at the moment. Maybe that's all we have. And these are all locked at the moment. And then what's this? The show. List of artists in your employment. Choose who's going to perform tonight. List of perks you possess. See what you're going to use in the show. Star attractions. Choose which one you're going to use. Here you can decide how much do you want to pay for advertising the show. Oh, yeah, cool. Price of the tickets. Slots represent the artists chosen for the show. Yeah. Represent the star attraction. You can pick one per show. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slots representing chosen perk. Numbers visible on the top of this icon let you know how many acts are on the show. Right. Click here to begin the show. This is really grabbing me. Um, okay, well, I've got some money to spend. What's this bloke's problem? Voodoo Emporium. Training ground. Right, let's go to the... Uh, let's go to the... What's backstage? Oh, no, I don't have it. Not in the demo. That's okay. Let's go to the training ground. Let's maybe... Let's train up the juggler a bit. This artist has to gain more experience. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, there's not much I can do then, except the bloody show. So let's get on with that. Um, I guess we slot the three of them. You. 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 Hang on. Got some bit of a hitch just then. I don't know what happened there. And let's see. So, they, oh, that's cool that it puts their names up there as well. That's so good. Um, impression boost, random artist games. Three. Had a big, big streaming starter. Yeah, I, I just saw that. Sorry about that, team. It wasn't me. It was, uh, it was YouTube altogether, I think. All right. Power of Umbrella. Random artist gains buff. All right, let's put this. Let's put this. Is that, is that how it works? Do I pick or do I get both of these? Ah, oh, here we go. Adds one star attraction, charged to random artist cards. Oh, I don't know. Let's do that. Let's keep that focus one. Here we go. Let's look. I've got nothing else to spend the money on. So let's go bloody hard in the paint. Advertise. Oh, let's go everything. 75 bucks. 85 cents a ticket. Sounds good. Let's do it. Start the show. All right. What have we got here? Look at this. Look at this crowd. Look at them all. Look at this dude. Bloody Scarlet Seeker looking dude. I like that. All right. Um, now, what's going to go on here? What's this? Give all spectators mindset buff. Increase. All right. So he's actually going to attack. They're going to attack them. Um, remove block. Impress one for every two blocks removed. No, no, no. So that blue charges the unicycle. I see. Right. Buff. Truck flip. Um. Star attraction change. Um, change star attraction charges gained by three. Decreases by one at the end of turn. Right, okay. Self-defense. Changes block received by three. Decreases by one. Oh, okay. So, increases the block that they receive. And what's that? It's like a little umbrella. Okay. What's this bloody buff do? Let's give him a go. Star Attraction Charger. Next three cards gain five more Star Attraction. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, impress. I mean, let's try and sit this Mine Foreman and the Miners. <laughs> All right. Um... 
All right. During the deck shuffle. Okay, well, we're not going to shuffle the deck. All good. So he's buffed the, their mindset or something. Right, okay. Now what's going on here? Reduce owns enjoyment by 15. Unused amount is changed into defense, so it acts as like a heal. Right, okay, okay. Um, okay, but there's no real attacks there, so we don't really want to block. Uh, that's okay. Block one for each block card. For, oh, no, no, we don't want that. Block, block. So many block cards that I want. Shuffle your hand into your deck. Draw one card for each shuffle. Yeah, that is actually exactly what we need right now. A big fiery fart. Eight unicycle? Holy Jesus. All oh, right, and that's because of this. The star attraction charger. Five more star attraction. Right, okay. Okay. Shuffle five random cards into your discard pile. Um, uh, the block's going to be wasted. Yeah, actually, we'll do that. We'll do that. This is cool. I'm enjoying this theme, and then we'll be able to play this one for free, and we'll just play it on this bloke. Buff, oh, buff self, draw one. Oh, okay, maybe I could have done that a bit better. Ah, oh, that's all right. These are just block cards. Okay. Oh, what's, oh, right. Mindset change. Yeah, they've debuffing them. What's going on here? Increase stress of a target artist by two. Five times. Wait, that's like 10. Oh, no, he's got 15. He can take it. He can't take it from the mind foreman. Uh! Um, removes all all balls. So that's uh, that's eight. Nine, ten, fourteen. Not quite enough. Unicycle. Let's get the unicycle going. Nice. All right, okay. Oh, who was it on? The mind foreman? How come it didn't do anything? Impress 15, a random spectator. Oh, you know what? He must have had, like, armor from his healing thing. Uh, taunt all, block self. Oh, we... Oh. Well, I guess it taunts all, right? He's going to get absolutely bloody hammered, though. Um... Impress... Maybe debuff. Oh, mindset. Okay. Okay, there's not much more I can do, right? I'm out of cards. Okay. Okay. Boo. Don't boo, my dudes. Deck shuffle. Five damage to every artist. Choose a card to exile. Um, maybe this one. That one. Oh, I have to exile for everybody. Let's do that one. That's not helping so much. Um, that one. Oh, wait. So their stress is reset? Is that what happened? Number of artists cards. The artist leaves the stage when there are no cards left. Oh. So them maxing out their stress triggers a deck reshuffle. So their health is actually that. Right. And I think by coincidence, maybe they all... No, no, no. No, so the deck reshuffle affects everyone? Okay. Huh. All right, well, hang on. We don't need armor so much there. Um, impress for buff self. Right, and then I'm probably going to use that on them. So let's do that. Oh, did I go up to three? Or Yeah, yeah. Four, eight, twelve. Let's do this. Sit down, son. All right, we're all good. Huh. Wow. 
Cards in the discard pile. Cards in your deck. Um, he's going to heal. He's going to bash my dude. Um, I was going to reshuffle. We've only got two cards. So are we going to cop a deck reshuffle when we try to draw there? I'm not sure. I want to give it a go and find out. Um, <laughs> right, so I think this might cause a stress reshuffle with the cards exiled. Dick shuffle. Yeah, right. Oh, five damage to every player. Okay, so I don't really understand the damage system at all. Because I could swear we maxed out the damage before. But maybe that forces a deck reshuffle as well. That's the one thing that's not clear to me. Is if I max out the damage to their health. But it's very clear that when we run out of cards, we have to do the reshuffle and, and X. Well, actually, no, no, no. We didn't have to exile cards then. Right, I figured it out. I figured it out, team. So when they finally max out their health bar, they have to exile a card. So they essentially have four more health bars left, if that makes sense. But it's also much worse than that because that's what's contributing to the deck. We've only got, we can see seven and five is 12, four, eight, 12. So every time that they lose, they max out and die, they have to lose a card, which cripples your deck even more. This is interesting because a mechanic to hurt your deck is like if you play a Dominion sort of game, well, no one plays Dominion, but Dominion was like the first one that did it. But these roguelike deck builders, a big part of the mechanic, if you're not aware, is usually to try and delete some of the trashier cards from your deck as you play, right? To make room for the, the sexy cards so there's less bloat. So when you do draw through your deck, you're ultimately drawing the chance of drawing a better card is higher because you're deleting the lower cards. So trying to delete crap old cards out of your deck is a big mechanic. Interestingly, this, the more that you die, the more cards you have to pick. And it let me pick the cards. So it does actually refine your deck potentially, but it's also increasing the, like speeding the time towards death because every time you reshuffle, you, uh, you have to delete a card. This is actually really quite inspired because... Like I said, the general meta strategy for almost all of these deck builders is to reduce the size of your deck and draw through it faster. Whereas in this, that just makes it closer to death each time, even if it's making your deck more efficient. This is really clever. All right, so they're gonna bash on this chick. Let's uh, taunt them. So, so the umbrella's an armor-related thing, I see. Um... Let's debuff this bloke. Change stress effect by minus one. Increase by one at the end of the turn. So it's like a poison, maybe? Not clear. Right. Next turn. All right. Shuffle fold. Yeah, th this actually helps a lot each time. Because we're, we're getting discarded cards back into the deck. It buys us some space. Um, but they're going to attack him. And that's probably... Oh, that's not going to work. Ah, oh, no good. And that won't help either because I won't have any charisma left. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, like, I just saw someone mention that I don't love these sort of games normally, I, but I, I appreciate, you know, I love sort of unpacking gameplay mechanics and what makes a game tick. I really enjoy that this is, at the same time, back to front to how these sort of games usually work 
in industry. Like I said, it's about refining your deck and narrowing it. But this actually takes that mechanic, encourages you to go in the other direction, but also uses it as an end game sort of death penalty, which is fa I've never seen anything like this before. It's so clever. So only this dude maxed out, I think. So only he has to exile a card. So if they keep bashing, like say one of your DPS damage dealers, or for example, say you're using a tank because our middle dude's clearly a tank and he keeps taking all the damage and slowly losing more and more cards, it's going to drain his effectiveness. It's something you could almost see this mechanic carrying over into a JRPG or something like that, that the longer the fight goes on and the longer someone gets bashed, the more fatigued they get. This is like a fatigue mechanic as we have to bleed the cards out of his deck. Very cool. Shuffle five random cards. No, we can't get rid of that. And I use that quite a bit. I haven't really been using that much. So let's go like that. And see, now we've got five in hand. Oh, Jesus, one in there as well. That's not great. Though we could handle a reshuffle apart from this. And I don't think there's healing. So, and yeah, see, he's down to three cards. Um, I don't think there's any getting around it. She's going to lose a card, which is interesting. It's sort of like, can you leverage that? I guess if you could make her tank damage, because I don't think she could take more than 10. Maybe, well, he's on zero. Yeah, I think maybe it max out. Okay, so there's another meta gameplay mechanic that is uh, emerging from this, right? In that if we could, I know he's the tank that tanks all, but if we could somehow get her to tank bloody 20 damage, I know they're not doing that. She was only going to take five. She's going to lose one card and go back to zero. But you could, you could, it's not like Trample from uh, Magic the Gathering, right? You could uh, stack all the damage on her if you want. Or more specifically, you could try and manipulate the tank into that sort of position. If your tank was like on 14 or 15 health, but then you got him to tank 30 damage, all that damage just doesn't exist anymore. This, this is one of the most clever roguelike games I've played. I had no idea it was going to be like this. I thought it was just going to be cutesy and cool. Um, see, like you see, you could buff her. There'd be no point giving her the armor buff because the reshuffle is going to happen and they are all going to take five damage. So she's... Well, actually, their stress level increases. I'm pretty sure armor won't affect it. I don't know for a fact, though. Let's put the buff on her because I want to. I want to learn more about this, right? <laughs> Changes block received by three decreases. Oh, actually, no. Okay, okay, that's fine. Yeah, because this is very explicit. During the shuffle, all artist stress increases according to the shown value, which is five. Yeah, so the the wordplay is very specific. That block is not going to have anything to do with it. Um, what is this? Block three. Buff self. You know what? Just for the sake of it, I'll put the block on her just in case. It's good to have empirical evidence. So right now, she's got bloody six block. But I'm certain that that's going to ignore the block. <laughs> Deck shuffle, five damage to every artist. Oh, I'm wrong. I, no, 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 I'm not. Wait. I was wrong. The armor does work. Okay, because I thought that was more of a meta objective to... Hmm, okay. So that's less lethal. Um, okay, I still like it. I, to be honest, I kind of liked that this was essentially a doom timer that you couldn't really mitigate. But now that we realize that, you kind of can. Okay, that's good though. So five and six cards in the kitty, so we don't have to worry about damage from there, just damage. Okay, that's that's much more manageable for sure, especially when we've got multiple acts in a show. Huh. Okay, cool. So we might as well taunt. So what's that? Eight, 13 damage. And he's got six block. So seven more. So he can actually take that fairly well and still sort of survive. I mean, more block probably couldn't hurt, but we can't really do much about that. Jeez, this chick's uh, spare juggling balls. 
We can sit that guy down, actually, which is good. So if we can get the card where she cashes the balls in for damage, um, that would be a big difference here. And we've got the unicycle. Oh, he's not dead? Right, so we need to kill that guy before we pop the unicycle because it does 15 random damage and we don't want him taking the random damage, right? So, um... And then now we're going to cop five damage across the board to everybody. So if we could block, that'd be a big help. But we need to do the damage. We need to impress. That's the only impress we have. So we're going to do that for free. Right, so he sits down. Unicycle still needs one charge. Um... One charisma. Shovel five random cards from discard into your deck. We're doing that. That'll buy space. Now, I'm not 100% certain if, if block carries over. I kind of feel like it must. And then we're done. Shuffle the six up. Cool. Now, can I save this mid-performance? That's a question. I, I don't think I can. Show tutorial. Abandon the show. Exit demo. I'm going to press abandon the show to see what happens. Surrender. <laughs> oh, they get the shepherd's hook off, off stage. That's so clever. The posters. All right, they're all my expenses. Ticket revenue. Oh, I still got a whole bunch of money. But no fame. And fame, we need to beat the demo, basically. Okay, that's cool, but we got a, a shitload of money. That's good. That's cool. I, I love this game. This is fantastic. I'm very much looking forward to the full release of this. Um, what was it called again? Just give me a sec. I'll double check. The Amazing Circus. The Amazing American Circus, I believe. Sorry, I just wanted to get the name right. This is only demo build, um, but uh, I look forward to the uh, the full release. All right, team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.